Now, in a recent interview, feminist writer Faye Weldon revealed that she believes marriage is sometimes a commercial exchange. Speaking about her time as a single mother in the 50s, she admits she married her first husband for security rather than love because it was a thing to do for girls in her situation. She says, you married someone for a roof over your head and to be kept and you would provide services of a domestic and sexual nature in return for your keep. <laughs> another word for it I'll save it <laughs> but in this day and age could we respect a woman who marries purely for financial reasons well I think it's it's um if that's what she wants to do and that's she knows what her role is he knows what her role is going to be there's there's a lot of men that actually would find that satisfying knowing that that, that their wives their fault uh, um, focus point um, number one gonna be fed you know she's quite happy to do that it's not for me but I think if she knows that and that's what she's going in it for security um, someone to pay the bills then all right it's her choice Hang on a minute. Well, she's Mary a PA with frills well, not really. I think with a list of extras. I'm sure. Oh, so in this but, day and age, but maybe, really? Do you but think maybe, that's oh, acceptable? No, I do, I do. Maybe that's enough for her. Maybe she doesn't want to get up in the morning and go to work. Maybe she wants to clean the house and cook oh, no, and is, look after her me, land. Good to me, luck that's, to her. Yeah, to I'm sorry, that's I just need to clear up. We're not talking, we're talking in women in general, not Faye Weldon, because obviously Faye's no, situation no, no, no. was very different. Yeah. But I think, I think what Zoe said, I think that's more almost marrying for traditional reasons and security rather than just marrying for money. I mean, how, how I see the marrying for money is girls who literally go out to set their cap yeah. to sort of ensnare a, 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 a man. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I remember years ago when I was... It's just sort of the analogy comes to mind. When I was um, going out with m w my one rich man, who I did actually love, and when we broke up, it was my mother that had the nervous breakdown. But, um, <laughs> but he, he took me to, why don't you just give it one try? <laughs> and, uh, but, what, but basically, we went to this gorgeous hotel in, in Italy, and I remember sitting around by the pool, and there was these young girls who can't have been much more than 19, 20, 21. And they were sort of rubbing sun oil on the back of these granddads. I mean, little wrinkly granddads. And I just thought, there is no money in the world that would have me go in and... I, I've got a friend, or a friend of a friend, um, who um, w sole purpose in life was to go and find herself a rich man. Didn't want to work, very beautiful girl, so she would have been a, you know, a good catch. And now has this fabulous life, whether she fancies him or not, I don't know. Um, I've never really asked her, I doubt it. But um, that was her choice, you know, he's yeah, happy, she's happy, so what? No, say they're she happy, rules. what about love? Isn't marriage about love? Isn't yeah, that the most important ingredient? Well, just because not she's checks. not working doesn't mean to say she doesn't love him. She didn't Wasn't go after him because she loved him. She went after him because he was wealthy. I think security and money, going, marrying somebody for security in those roles is still different to sort of headhunting somebody just because they're, just because, Look, just because they're wealthy. And, and, and saying things like a girl that I know who says, you know, that she's never, ever, ever, ever refused her partner Jiggy Jigs because, he would, <laughs> be, because, be, because she's so terrified of losing the, sort of the, the financial package. That is wrong, yeah. in my opinion. But also, we're lucky, you know, um, Jane and I, all we've known is music and we've had a talent and there's no, there was absolutely no way we, we could have not have gone down that road. Mm -hmm. So for, for me to cook and clean for a man and that be enough for me wouldn't have happened, or you. But there are some women that haven't got that and are quite happy that is their role, to look after their man. Good luck to them. Well, I have to say, I, I watched a, a program called Pride and Prejudice. You probably know that. And it, yes. And, and I, I, I thought there's something about Mr. Darcy that I could go for. You know? Because it is. I think we've, we've changed roles so much in our society, haven't we, in the last hundred years. And, and I think that's the problem now. You did. Your parents used to pick, you know, someone who could look after you and the family. Mm, yeah. and, and love didn't really come into it that much in those days. Mm. And I'll tell you something else, girls. There's a lot of people in poor relationships who don't fancy or love their husbands as well. So I'd rather be rich in one. The no, the no. You know, I always say money, money doesn't bring you happiness, but it makes miserable and dance sight better, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll never mind marrying for money. If